What's going on, y'all? Say, Mike O'Blaine, old son, back on. We're gonna learn something today. Say, how about we do some grains? Sound good? Well, cool, cool. Let's hit it. All right. When it comes to popcorn, it really doesn't matter. I like to use the white popcorn, but sometimes they're low on stock, so I gotta get the yellow. It doesn't matter. So white or yellow, I prefer the white myself, simply because the kernels are a lot smaller, um, it seems. So I like using the white myself, but as I said, sometimes they just don't have enough. So gotta go with the yellow. But that's cool. And we're gonna add our instant coffee. No coffee grounds. Instant coffee. You want that coffee to dissolve in the water, y'all. And Distilled spring water, doesn't matter. So just as long as you got something, do not use uh, tap water or well water. All right, step one, completely wash your grains, wash them good. I don't see many people doing this, honestly. And your grains, they're really dusty, really dirty. Just give them a good rinse before you throw them in your pot. Add your water. Next, we're gonna throw in three heaping tablespoons. Or actually, we'll go ahead and do four because we did about, or we did eight pounds. So, it doesn't really matter um, because we are using instant coffee anyways. It's gonna dissolve. We're not gonna have any coffee grounds in our grains once we strain this water. So it really doesn't matter how much you use just as long as you're using instant coffee. So I like to use it as to no coffee grounds in your end result once you strain it. Say bypass uh, all the coffee grounds but you still get the nitrogen boost from the coffee with the instant. So boom. All right, once our coffee's added, we're gonna go ahead and turn this bad boy on high. Wait till she comes to a, you know, little simmer. All right, once she starts simmering, giving her an occasional stir. Don't want those to stick on the bottom of that. So we're gonna turn it down to a medium. I usually turn mine down a notch below because it's, it's not gonna lose this heat. I usually like to lift when that foreign flies in there. Say, so we'll set our timer for an hour and then we'll come back and check and see how she feels. All right, it has been an hour and I am not happy. I was trying to bite one of these in half, they're still a little stiff yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and give them another 20 minutes. Say, so, couple minutes already burned off there but let them go another 20 try and bite one and a half then they should be about good to go you do not want these soft you say but you want to be able to bite one and a half and yeah you never want your grain soft but you do want to be able to bite one and a half and like I said, they're still a little stiff yet, so we'll give them another 20 minutes. All right, that about did her. So, it's time to strain them out. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna give these a stir every once in a while. And a lot of people try to rush this. It's, you wanna make sure that these grains are fully cooled off before you jar them up so we're gonna let them sit here for hell a few hours let them cool down stir them every once in a while then we'll jar them up all right so we got them jarred up in the pc we're gonna go ahead and push cook these 15 psi for two hours Two hours at 15 PSI. And so that's about it, y'all. 
I hope this video helps. I tried to make it short, sweet to the point, and not too not not too hard, y'all. It's like very simple. But hope it helps. Make sure to like, subscribe. Appreciate it, y'all.